Okay, we're going to begin the class for July 19th. We're going to begin in a couple of minutes because uh, there are some people who hasn't joined yet. So we are going to wait for some students first, okay? Good night. Good evening, Tatiana, how are you? Fine, thanks, and you? Fine, fine, thank you for asking. Is it raining there? Tatiana and your no it's not your, raining here it's not raining yes because I've heard that many people had like different problems with internet and electricity so because it was raining before right good evening Maria Cecilia and Lisette Flores how are you how was your day good evening good I evening <laughs> you're a little <laughs> tired okay okay yes. but no problem we are not going to do a lot of physical activity today good evening Thanks. Jaime okay we are going to we're, we're about to begin we are just waiting just for a couple of students and in the meantime we are going just to review yesterday's vocabulary good evening Mercy good evening we are going to just review some good evening vocabulary. teacher good evening and um, we are going also to study the present perfect and the simple past, okay? So I'm just going to share my screen again and we are going just to begin with a little review, okay? So yesterday we were talking about food, right? Popular food in our country, like pupusas, tamales, empanadas, uh, different things, right? And also we were talking about food from other countries like hamburgers, cupcakes, uh, peanut butter. Also, we review the countable and, and uncountable nouns, right? And also different vocabulary like meat. Meat is carne, right? And we have different kind of meat like chicken, pork, beef, ham. When we say pork is um, like the pig, right? But when it's already dead and we are talking about the meat, it's pork. It's not pig. I ate pig. No, I ate pork, okay? So uh, also fish, uh, seafood, we have shrimp, salmon, tuna, lobster, vegetables, and fruit, right? So try to remember all of that because you are going to practice. And also we studied a little bit of the present perfect and the simple past. So this is what we were studying yesterday. Uh, did you investigate about the simple past and present perfect? ¿Investigaron del presente perfecto y del pasado simple? Yes? No? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, Maria Cecilia, why did you investigate? Um, I investigate the simple the simple past is important the the time. Uh, mm -hmm. the uh, for example, I ate hamburger yesterday i need a specific the time in the past time in the past time mm -hmm. in the present perfect is important the action the action um for example i i haven't been to canada yet mm -hmm. it's important the action the action, very good. So in the simple past, it's important the time, right? We have to say yesterday, last week, and the present perfect, the, the action is the, the most important part. Yeah. Okay, very good. Who else can give me uh, more information about the simple past and the present perfect? Who else? Quien más me puede dar información? Me, teacher. Okay, Tatiana, what did you investigate about the simple past and present perfect? A simple past is a tense to describe an action of, uh, during in the past, just in the past. And a present perfect is a tense that express the actions that happen in a, uh, I don't know how to say, it's como que Está como continuando, o sea, como que la acción está continua aún. Okay, still relevant, still, it's ongoing, right? Nowadays. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, very good, very good explanation. Actually, yes, it is true. It's about um, actions, right? Some actions that are already finished and some actions that are, are still like relevant for the present. Okay, very good, very good explanation. Who else did the homework? ¿Quién más hizo la tarea? Who said me, teacher? Noah. Okay, and what did you investigate? An action completed in the past. For example, a jump. Born negativa, a jump. A question. Um, is a jump and the present perfect. I, I we have formula mm -hmm. subject plus how as plus verb in past participle. Mm -hmm. uh, one action uh, continue in the present. Uh, he came use in the future. In the future. Okay, can be used in the future. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Actually, we are going to study uh, the formulas or actually the structure because we have to be very careful uh, in the, when you are going to use the simple past and the present perfect. So we are going to uh, review this uh, information here. Actually, we did yesterday. And it says that we use the present perfect to talk about experiences to describe an action that is being repeated between the past and present, to describe an action that is started in the past and is still continuing in the future, to describe an action that has not yet been finished, and to describe an action that was completed in the recent past. So we are going to see different examples, right, about this usage. Uh, yesterday, we studied these uh, formulas, right? The present perfect, like uh, in affirmative, I have tried sushi. Negative, I have not tried sushi. And question, right? I have you tried sushi? And also, we have to remember that we have to change the auxiliary have or has, depending on the pronoun, right? Uh, for example, we have positive here, I have seen. But it changes, right? If we use he, he has, right? He has seen. She has seen, it has seen, but we, it comes back, right? We have seen, you have seen, and they have seen. So we have to be careful with pronouns. We don't, we don't have to get confused. And with negative, we just add not. You have not, he has not, she has not. So it's the same structure, right? This is the contraction, the one that we see in parentheses, hasn't or haven't, right? depending on the pronoun. So that is just contraction. It's the same. It's the same as say has not is hasn't and have not is haven't, the same. And question at the beginning, we write have, right? The auxiliary have, subject and the past participle. As we can see here, over here, we have the, the subject, right? And here the example, it says, have I seen? Have you seen? Has he seen? Has long. she seen? Has How it long. seen? So they change always, right? So it's really simple to use. It's, we just need to be careful. Tenemos que ser cuidadosos como ocupamos el auxiliar. Questions about this? Questions about the structure? Negative? Uh, positive? Questions? No questions? Everything's clear? Todo claro? We're clear. Everything's clear. Okay, very good. We are going to practice in a while, okay? We are going to practice in a while. Now, uh, just uh, this is the structure just for questions, right? And over here we have again that we use have for I, you, we, they, and has for he, she, it. And it says have or has plus, plus subject plus ever plus past participle plus complement. And it says, have you ever eaten snails? ¿Alguna vez has comido caracoles? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. So this is in case that we have to answer. We can answer in both ways, right? Yes, no questions. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. And 
uh, this this will be the structure for questions. But remember that ever is an adverb of frequency or frequency adverb. We can omit it, right? If we want to. No tenemos que ponerlo siempre en la pregunta. Lo podemos quitar si queremos. Have you ever? What does it mean? Have you ever? Alguna vez, verdad? Have you ever done this? Have you ever gone to this place? Alguna vez has ido a este lugar, etc. And here is showing just how we combine to the two tenses, right? First, it is like um, the present perfect, like to ask about a, a situation that has happened before in the past. We don't know when exactly, but then we can use the as a pre, the simple past, right? So, uh, for example, yes, I have, I have tried the the snails, right? I tried them last month. Did you like them? Yes, I did. Remember, if somebody is asking you a question in simple past, you have to answer in simple past, right? And if somebody is asking you a question in present perfect, you have to answer in present perfect. So you have to be uh, careful also with that. If you are going to use both of them. And these are more examples with the same structure. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food, et cetera, right? And we can ask about where, how do you like it? When and how was your experience, right? And the simple pass. The simple pass, as you mentioned already, is an action that took place and ended in the past. El pasado simple es que ya pasó, ya terminó without any information being given about what its repercussion has been in the present time. Example, when I was young, I played tennis. Esa oración dice que no nos da información si todavía estamos jugando tenis o, o no, si ya paramos. Solo dice, I played tennis, right, when I was young. This morning, I had a very tense meeting with my boss. It's already afternoon, so the morning it's over. It already passed. And yesterday, I went to the cinema with my friends. And the present perfect is an action that began in the past and is still developing. For example, I have worked in this bank for 10 years. Probably I'm still working in that bank. I have lived in Barcelona for five years. Probably I'm still living in Barcelona. And as a negative sentence, I've never seen this film before. Esos son ejemplos nada más ¿verdad? del presente perfecto. And this is like the equivalence, right? Es el equivalente en español. Yo he caminado. I have walked. That is the equivalent. La casa fue construida. That is in simple past, right? The house was built in 1990. But in using the present perfect, él ha dormido bien. He has slept well. Ustedes han visto la película. You have seen the movie, right? So that is the uh, like the similar way to say it in Spanish, right? Let's say. And also past participles. We have to learn past participles. What is a past participle? Es el pasado participio de los verbos. Ese es el past participle. For regular verbs, easy, right? Para los verbos regulares está fácil. Porque es, no cambia, es el mismo, ¿verdad? The endings in ED, los que terminan en ED, son los verbos regulares. Y esos no cambian. Walked, for example, cooked, baked, liked. But we have to be careful with present perfect, right? Because in the present perfect, it changes, right? As we can see here. The, all of these are irregular verbs. And we have the base form, the present. Simple past and past participle. For example, we have the verb to be. The simple past is was, were, right? Was, were. And the past participle is being. Mm. Be, exactly. The base form is do. What is the meaning of do? Hacer. Hacer, exactly. And the simple past is did. And the past participle is done. Done, done. done. exactly. It's done. It, what is the meaning of it? Comer. Comer, Comer exactly. Pass is ate. Eight. Pass participle is eaten. 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 eaten or eaten. Both pronunciations are okay. 
words have different pronunciations, right? Tienen diferentes pronunciaciones las palabras, así que eh, sí, está bien. Eaten or eaten. Feel, what is the meaning of feel? Sentir. Sentir, very good. The past is felt, felt. and the past participle is felt. felt. Fine, what is the meaning of fine? Buscar. Buscar. Buscar o encontrar. Encontrar, right? Very good. Fine. The simple past is found and the past participle is found. found. What is the meaning of get? Obtener. Obtener, very good. The simple past is got what? and the past participle is gotten. What? Give, what is the meaning of give? Dar. 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 Very good. Past is gave. And then given. Given. Given, no, right? It's given. given. Go. Go is common, right? What is the meaning of go? Here. 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 Went and gone, right? Gone. That is the past participle. Gone. Have. This is not the auxiliary, right? You have to be careful. This is not the auxiliary. Yo he, right? I have. This is have de tener. Mm -hmm. I have. Yo tengo. Uh -huh. And the past is had. Mm -hmm. And the past participle is had. Oh. What is the meaning of hear? Escuchar. Escuchar, Escuchar. exactly. Oír. Oír, exactly. Simple past is heard. Hear. And the past participle is heard. Hear. Heard. heard, exactly. No, what is the meaning of no? Conocer. Conocer, saber also. And the simple past is new. new. And the past participle is? No. Known. No. Known. No. No. Known, exactly, no. known. Live, what is the meaning of live? Dejar. Dejar. Dejar, exactly. Left is the past and past participle left. Make. Left. Hacer. Make, yeah, but make with my hands. Hacer con algo con las manos, ¿verdad? Simple past is made and past participle is made. made. Read, what is the meaning of read? Read. And the past is? Read. Red. Red. Red, exactly. Red. If you see, it's the same writing. En la misma se escribe igual los tres tiempos, pero la pronunciación es diferente. Read, red y red. red. Like the color red, right? Como el color rojo. Red, red, right? Say, what is the meaning of say? Decir. Exactly. And the simple past is said, and the past participle is said. See, what is the meaning? Ver. Ver. Exactly. Ver. The past is saw no. and the past no. participle is seen. Sí. Exactly. Um, take, what is the meaning? Tomar. 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 Exactly. Simple past is took, took. and past participle take. 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 Tell, what is the meaning of tell? Yes, sí. Yes, sí. Yes, sí. Yes, sí. Yes, sí. Exactly. So the past is tall. And tall. the past participle tall. is tall. 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 Think, what is the meaning? Pensar. Pensar. Think, right? Pensar. Yes, think. Past is thought. And past participle tall. is thought. Tall. Tall. And write. Okay. Right, exactly. Wrote is the past. And written is the past participle. So we have a lot of verbs, a lot of verbs. We have run, we have walk, we have, we have regular, we have irregulars. So you have to learn it, you have to practice to learn it. And these are as a conclusion, right? This is the differences, right? Simple past is completed events at a definite time in the past. Present perfect, events that happen at an indefinite time in the past. And also events that began in the past and continue up to the present. And also with ever and never, we can use uh, those adverbs also. So those would be the differences, right? One is already finished and the other one is still happening and is still relevant or it began in the past and still continue to the present. And these are the comparisons, right? And these are like the examples that we have seen in the book. For example, have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have eaten snails before. Did you like them? Yes, I did. I like like them they were delicious have you ever been to a vietnamese restaurant no i haven't been to that type of restaurant did you go alone no i went with some friends 
And here we can see like the colors of the verbs and auxiliaries, right? If, if it is an auxiliary verb, if it is the past participle, if it is the present or the past of the verb, and uh, simple past responses without the auxiliary. This is just the differences, right? So you can identify them by the color. Now I have some exercises right now. And these exercises, we can have different responses, right? So uh, we can have different uh, correct responses. For example, have you ever spaced to a picnic at the beach? Uh, what would be the, 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 the question for this? Have you ever? Go. Have you ever gone? Exactly. Gone. What is another verb that we can use? Have you ever Visit. visited? Have you ever visited? Uh, been. Have you ever been? Exactly. And what would be the, the answer? Yes, I have. have. I yes, have. I have. Exactly. And then we can say we ate hamburgers or we cooked, right? Or we prepare hamburgers, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see the answer. Have mm -hmm. you ever been to a mm -hmm. picnic at the beach? Yes, I have. We cooked hamburgers, right? Very good. Next one. Let's see the next one. Have you sushi? Have you, have you, have have you, you ever have you ever sushi? Eaten sushi? Okay. Have, have you, you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten sushi? Eaten sushi. Very good. And yeah. what else? Have you ever tried, right? Or oh, try. Have you ever tried? Exactly. And what else? Let's see. No, I have. No, I have. No, I have. I haven't. Exactly. No, I haven't. But I like to. What does it mean? I like to. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Exactly. I like to. No. Let's see. Have you tried sushi? Remember that tried is probar, no tratar, verdad? Probar right. algo nuevo. Probar comida nueva. Have you tried sushi? No, I haven't, but I like to. Very good. Next one. Did you breakfast today? Yes, did, I. Did you oh. have breakfast oh. today? Did, did you did? have breakfast? Did you eat also, right? Did you eat breakfast today? And yes, I did. I did. Exactly. Because it's asking with did, right? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast or I had, right? I had a huge breakfast. Let's see. Did you have breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. Very good. Next one. Have you ever? What is teacher? Teacher. What is yes. the meaning of a huge, huge breakfast? What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of what? Huge. 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 Enormous. Enormous. Okay. Yes, that is huge. Enormous. Okay, next one. Have you ever Mexican food? Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried? Have you ever eaten? Very good. Yes, I have. In fact, I had, right? Or I ate probably some last week. Yes, let's see. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some last week. Very good. You see? So this is how you combine the two tenses, right? The first one is present perfect. And then we answer with present perfect, but we continue with simple past. Simple past. And this one already, you are able to see here the combination. Did you, did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had some on my way to work. Very good. Very good. Now, this is just uh, like a little review from the present perfect simple. We use it for past events, recent past events, unfinished events, or I'm sorry, unfinished states, and past events that pres the present perfect simple indicates that something happened in the past, but we don't know when it happened. Cuando aquí dice que no sabemos cuándo pasó, pero que pasó, it means that it happened in the past, desde el día en que nacemos, hasta el día presente. Entonces, no sabemos cuándo eh, pasó exactamente. So that's what it means, right? That's the reason why it's still relevant. For example, I've been to Australia in the past, but we don't know when. Have you ever been to, to America? No, I've never been to America. 
also talking about recent past events. También para re eventos recientes podemos eh, utilizarlo, no solo para eventos que pasaron hace bastante tiempo. For example, let's say that we are eating um, in a family. There is a family eating and it says, Mom, have you finished cooking dinner yet? Yes, I've just made your favorite. Acabo de hacer su favorita. I've just made it. La acabo de hacer, ¿verdad? Entonces, we can use it for recent past events. And also for unfinished states. We've known each other for two weeks now. Yes, and we had a great time. We can use for, for periods of time. We use this kind of words, right? For, for an hour, for two days, for the last 10 years. So for is por, verdad? Por una hora, por dos días. Since, what is the meaning of since? Desde. Desde, exactly. We can use since also with present perfect for starting point of time. Since last night, desde anoche. Since three months ago, since 1980s, desde los 80, right? And we have more examples here. I worked here for four years. This restaurant has been famous since 2001. I've never been to America and I haven't made dinner yet. What does it mean yet? Aún o todavía, right? I haven't made dinner yet, exactly. So we have here this conversation that later we are going to practice. And uh, it says Isabel and Andy, right? It seems that Isabel went to the beach and she wants to share this experience with Andy. It says, I went to Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very good. Yes, I have. It's beautiful. And then here, have you or did you? Did you go? Did, did you? you Very go? good. Because here is in the present, right? That's a hint. Yeah. Es una pista. So did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I did. did. Exactly. Because he's asking with did, right? Yes, I did. I, I went. went. I went on went. Sunday. Sunday. Uh huh. I wake up. Wake up. Exactly. Wake up. Or in the past is. Woke up. Woke up. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow. I spaced that wow. early. Como digo, nunca me he levantado tan temprano. I, I never, never woke up, never woke up never woke that early. I've never woken up woke that early. Woken, right? Because woken. the present is wake, the past is woke, and the past participle is woken, right? So woken up. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever in here? Have you ever been, right? Probably been the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I have haven't. I prefer sunsets to sunrises. What is sunset? What is the meaning of sunset? Puesta de sol, atardecer, and sunrise, the opposite, right? Amanecer, right? Sunrise. Very good. Now we are going to practice the conversation just to check the pronunciation, right? It says, I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow, I have never woken up that early. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunsets to sunrises. Who wants to participate to, just to practice the conversation? Me, teacher. Who said me? Tatiana. Tatiana, okay. And who else? Jaime, okay. Jaime and Tatiana. Tatiana, you begin and then Jaime continues. Okay. I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow. I have never woken up that early. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to the sunrise? No, I haven't. 
I prefer sunset to sunrise. Very okay. good, very good. I prefer sunsets to sunrises. Very good. Um, do we have another volunteer here? Another voluntario, voluntaria. Me, teacher. Who said me? Rosaura. Rosaura and Noah. Noah, 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 right? Okay, very good. <laughs> so, Rosaura, you can begin. Okay. I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow. I have never woken up that early. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunset to the sunset. Okay. Finish. Okay, very good. I prefer sunsets to sunrises, okay? Sunrises, yes, very good. And the last, the last ones, los últimos. ¿Quién quiere participar de ya de último? Juan Linares. Okay, who else? ¿Quién más? Maria. Yes. Okay. Okay, so Maria, you begin, and then Juan continues. Okay, I, w I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, uh, Andy? Yes, yes, I have. You go there on the beach. Yeah, I did. I went, I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. No, I have never woke up. That it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I got the sunrise. Very good. No, I haven't. I prefer sunset to sunrises. Very good. So, uh, do you have any question right now about? Uh, present perfect, simple past, the usage, past participles, or everything is clear. Questions? No questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, let's see. Now we are going to answer these uh, questions, right? Have you ever been on a diet? Have you ever danced bachata? Have you ever visited Antigua? Have you ever eaten a vegetarian dish? Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Have you ever eaten something uncooked? Have you ever worn food? Have you ever eaten something you didn't like? Have you ever lost money? Have you ever told lies? Have you ever baked a cake? Have you ever sung karaoke? Also we have, have you ever climbed a mountain? Have you ever won a raffle? Have you ever found money? I get that, guess that's that's repeated. Have you ever fallen on the street or have you ever eaten a rabbit? I guess that many people here has uh, had even, uh, eaten rabbit, right? So we are going to try to answer these uh, questions using the simple past and the present perfect. So the first one is, have you ever been on a diet? Any of you, have you tried diets before? Or you have never been on a diet? Yes, I have. <laughs> Jaime, you have you have had uh, yes, on have. a diet? You have been on a diet? Who said also, Maria? Me, Tatiana. Tania, Tatiana, okay, Tatiana. Jaime, uh, that was recently? You were on a diet recently or before a long time ago? Before on time. Long time ago. And what do you used to eat? What kind of food? Mm, I, I used to eat uh, only fruit only fruit only fruit yes fruit what kind of fruit just apples bananas apples yes um uh, papaya <laughs> papaya yes and why did you did you go on a diet
Sorry, please repeat this. Yes. Why did you go on a diet? Why? Uh, because in my work, uh, uh, my partner say a uh, era una apuesta que rebajara más. Ah, okay. Okay, sí. and who won? Sí. ¿Quién ganó? <laughs> oh, pues eh, quedé en segundo lugar. I'm a second. Second, second place. place. Okay, second. very congratulations. Congratulations. And it was easy to be on a diet or not? It was difficult. Or difficult because uh, uh, for day I running uh, every day. Uh, um, on, on Sunday and um, um, Saturday, I played football soccer. Mm -hmm. uh, Yes, it made that much. <laughs> okay, very good. So you put a lot of effort in your diet. Yes. Okay, very good, very good. And Tatiana also, you were on a diet, right, Tatiana? Yes. Uh, how long ago? Hello. A long time ago, and maybe uh, three years ago. Mm -hmm. Three years ago, and what kind of food did you eat? Just vegetables? Or a vegetables, lot of meat, vegetables. Uh, fruits, salads, chicken, uh, fish. Fish. Okay, so you tried to lose weight. Yes. And it was a good experience for you or it was a bad experience? It's a bad experience because I love fried food <laughs> and it was very difficult for me. Yes, I imagine that. Actually, I was on a diet like some, like a year ago, or something like that, because I tried to lose weight also. And it was a bad experience also because I, I ate vegetables, chicken, fish, like you mentioned before, a lot of fruit also. And, but also I, I was craving for bread because I wasn't able to eat bread or pastry, cakes, pizza, hamburgers. Yeah nothing right nothing nothing delicious yes and i love desserts uh, yes desserts are really 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 good yes. <laughs> that was really sad right but that that i it, did you did it work the 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 diet can you repeat me the question please yes. did it work funcionó la dieta o no funcionó no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm sorry for you. But in my case, it worked a little bit, a little bit like. Hi, right, that's I, I great. Like, yeah, that's good. That's good. Now, next question. Have any of you or has any of you ever danced bachata before? Have you ever danced bachata? Juan? Yes? Mm. Maria? Yeah. Hector? No, I haven't. Yes. Who has danced bachata? I don't know. ¿Quién ha bailado bachata de aquí? Me, teacher. Who said me? Tatiana. Tatiana. You have I love bachata? dance. You love, love to dance. dance. Okay, yes, you love bachata. I really love dance. Okay, very good. Bachata, salsa, cumbias. You dance everything. Yes. Okay, very good. That's good. I've never danced bachata before. Never. Uh, how do you say? Me siento triste por ti. I feel sad for you. I feel sad for you. Yes, I, I, I imagine. Because probably if you like to dance, that's really a good experience. Like when you dance with somebody or if you dance alone, right? It's good. But if you cannot dance... Yeah. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, and you, Maria, have you danced bachata before? No, I don't like bachata. You don't like bachata. What kind of music do you like, Maria? Uh, I like smooth um, cumbia, merengue. Cumbia, merengue. And... But bachata, no. No, okay, I understand. Okay, yeah, it's kind of difficult to dance bachata. But anyways, let's see. Next question. Have you ever visited Antigua? I guess it's Antigua, Guatemala, right? Have you ever visited that place, Antigua, Guatemala? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Maria, and how long ago did you did you go there? Um five years ago 
five years ago, did you go with your family or with you alone or with your company no. or your enterprise? With my boyfriend. With your boyfriend. And did you have a good time there? Yes. Did you take pictures? <laughs> Me too. Yes, a lot of pictures. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see, next one. I guess next one is a very easy question, right? Have you ever eaten a vegetarian dish? I guess that everybody has eaten a vegetarian dish, right? There, like salads, right? Only vegetables, so that's vegetarian. Let's see, next one. Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Alguien ha bailado con uh, alguien que no le guste. Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Gabriela, Rodolfo, Rosaura, Aisa. We have also Tatiana. Well, Tatiana, you like to dance, right? So. Yes. But have but you ever? Uh -huh. I ha I I know. Mm -hmm. I don't have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, no, I haven't. No, you have uh, never danced with someone you I don't like. I have never danced with someone. I don't like me. Okay, yes, because I heard that some people, they dance because of they, they don't have anybody else, right? So you have to dance with someone you don't like. Probably that's mm -hmm. not really good. But anyways, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's see. Have you ever eaten something uncooked? Has anybody of you has eaten something uncooked? Algo que no esté cocinado, algo crudo, uncooked. No? Yes, I have. Who said no. yes, I have? Cecilia. Cecilia, okay, Cecilia, what kind of food have you, have you I eaten? Li I like to, I like eat, um, how do you say, um, eh, 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 ay, mariscos. Seafood. Seafood. Yes. Seafood. You, so you like seafood, right? Yes. What what kind of seafood have you tried? Uh, ostras. Oysters. Okay. Oysters. oysters. Are they delicious? Because I guess I've never tried oysters. Uh, Are they delicious? I yes, it's delicious. Yes, but you have to eat them like lemon that. Like with salt. Lemon <laughs> with salt, yes. But you have to drink it, right? You have to swallow it, right? Like yes. like this, right? <laughs> yes, okay, yes. That's that I never tried that. Very delicious. Probably I will try it one day. Probably. Okay. Next one it says, Have you ever burned food? Alguna vez se les ha quemado la comida. Yes. yes, right. Everybody. Everybody. Even the water, right? For the coffee, right? Okay. Who wants to share the experience, right? Like who has burned the, the food while you were cooking? Rosa Maria? No, eh? Rosa Maria, have you burned the food while you were cooking? Yes. Yes. yes what, <laughs> what, what kind of food? Um, meat. Meat. Chicken meat? Uh, um, no, no. Um, no sé cómo decir carne de res. Ah, the beef. 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 Uh, yes. Okay. And that was a long time ago or recently? Uh, no. I, uh, I go to the. Uh, no, no sé cómo decir hace 10 años. <laughs> 10 years ago. Uh, 10 years ago. 10 years yes. ago. Okay, very good. It was on a Christmas, on a birthday. No, right. No. No, it was a regular day. Okay, very good. But now you don't you don't board the food anymore, right? Me, no, Tatiana. teacher. Tatiana, you burn the food also? <laughs> yes. What kind of food did you burn? Fried bananas. Fried bananas. And yeah. they burn completely? <laughs> yeah. It, okay. And what happened? Because, uh, I was talking with my friend and I forgot it. 
and you forgot the bananas. Yes. Okay, they were grilled bananas. Banana asada comió. I don't know how do you say carbon. Carbon. <laughs> carbon. In this case, will be coal, right? Coal. 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 You ate coal. Okay, very good. But you don't burn your food anymore, right? No. Okay, very good, very good. Next one, it says, have you ever eaten something you didn't like? Yes. Alguna vez han comido algo que no les guste, you didn't like, but you have to eat it because you were in a party. Who said I had? Me, Tatiana. Tatiana, <laughs> okay, Tatiana. So, what kind of food have you tried? Seafood. I don't you, like it. You don't like seafood? No. Okay, and you were in a party when you tried this food, or what happened? In a party with my friends. In a party we with your... ceviche. Uh, okay. We prepared ceviche. And I don't like seafood. You don't like seafood. And your friends didn't know this or? And no. <laughs> okay. But did you eat the seafood or you didn't eat it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But you, but you I don't like it. But you didn't get sick. Yes. Yes, you got sick, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, we, uh, I. I thought stomach cake. Stomach cake, yes. Yes, because sometimes when you don't eat something you don't like, uh, probably it's, it's like a bad, right? For example, I like shrimps. I can eat them normally, but I cannot eat pupusas with shrimps, right? Like shrimp pupusas, pupusa de camarón, I cannot eat that because once, like long time ago, I... I got sick from one pupusa. So I cannot eat that. I can I cannot eat. That's the only thing that I cannot eat, I think. But anyways. Next one it says, have you ever lost money? Alguna vez han perdido dinero? Yes, right. Yes, yes, a lot of people. Yes. When? When did you when did you lost money? Can you tell us the, the experience? ¿Quién ha perdido dinero? ¿Cómo lo perdieron? I lost money, teacher. When, Make, when, Jaime? Making an uh, application on debt. This uh, is a, it's a page for the lottery. When you put and the play the, any, the, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, in the way, okay, and what happened? Uh, uh, for example, uh, they play in the Alianza versus Firpo, who wants? <laughs> oh, soccer, <laughs> soccer bet. Uh -huh. Alianza wins, but uh, uh, <laughs> okay, so uh, Alianza won or lost? Lost. Lost. You were for Alianza, right, bro? You're yes. for Alianza. Okay. <laughs> for example, yes. And how much money did you did you lose in, in that bet? Um, I put around twenty money. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, yes. Twenty dollars. Okay, that that was well, kind of, kind of. You you like bets, right? Yeah, yes, yes. I, I can see that you like it. You like to lose weight. You were in a bed. You lost money. You were in a bed. So very good, very good, very good experience. Okay, okay, very good. La página se llama Dale. Dale, that is, so on a website. Dale oh, is a website. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Now I know. I will, I will check that the website. Dale. Yes. Next one. It says, "Have you ever told lies?" Never, right? Never. Never. <laughs> Nobody. Everybody's honest here. So, uh, have you ever told lies? Let's see here, Rosa Maria. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Are you there? I, I cannot see your name. Ah, Gabriela Godoy. Are you there, Gabriela Godoy? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Have you ever told a lie in your life? 
Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. What was what was the last lie that you told or one of the lies that you have told? Uh, um, <laughs> uh, I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you, you can say a lie right that you that is not that bad, right? For example, probably yeah. you lie to your daughters or to your mother, right? Yeah, I, um, um, maybe, um, I don't know, um, good lies. Mm -hmm. White lies. <laughs> white, I mean, um, yes, blancas, right? White lies. <laughs> A white light. Um, I don't, um, I, I don't remember. I don't remember one of these right now, but I uh, I used to lie to my I used to lie to my mother sometimes <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> because she take care of my baby. So uh, sometimes I I have to do something after work and I. And I say, and I say her that I, I go out late. <laughs> so you, you have to work, so, Mom. I'm sorry, I have to work late. Yes. <laughs> okay, but well, you have to go to the party, right, or to eat, to eat with your friends. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine. Actually, I everybody has told lies to their parents. Probably, I don't. I actually I don't tell lies, but I don't say. The truth, right? I don't. I don't have to say like I, I. I don't explain myself sometimes. That's the problem. But normally, I. 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 I don't tend to tell lies because people know that I'm telling lies. I cannot lie, so I'm very bad with lies. I try to to hide everything. That's that's what happened in my case. Next one, it says, "Have you ever baked a cake? Have you ever baked bake or niar, verdad? Bake." Have you ever baked a cake? Anybody here? Maria, Tatiana, Rosa, Hector, Maria Cecilia. Yes. Who said yes? Teacher. Tatiana. Or Maria. Me. Yes. Oh, Tatiana. Okay, Tatiana. What did you What did you bake? What kind of? I cake? baked a uh, cake. Because I love desserts and cheesecake is my uh, preferido. Uh, my favorite. My favorite. So you can it. you can bake cheesecakes. Yes, cheesecakes okay. and chocolate brownies. Brownies, brownies. for example. Brownies. Yeah. Okay, brownies are delicious, right? Yes. yes, with babe. ice cream. With ice cream, yes. That's the name a la moda, right? Brownie a la moda, right? With, with ice cream. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good, very good. Next one is, have you ever sung karaoke? Have had anybody of you has sung in a karaoke? Has anybody can sing here? ¿Han cantado en un karaoke antes? Edgardo, Cecilia, no, never. You have never sung in a karaoke? No, I haven't. No, I haven't, teacher. You have never. Yeah, you have I, never sung in a karaoke. You don't like to sing? Uh, maybe I like, but I, I can't do it very well. <laughs> okay, you like to sing, but you cannot do it very well. But in karaoke, you don't have to sing very well. You just. It is just for fun, right? Just for fun, yeah. But uh, many of the people are in there uh, are joke. Uh, I don't know how to say, but uh, everybody is, is start to laugh of of the people are singing. singing. Yes, it is true. Sometimes, it's, yeah, you have to sing in front of the people. It's different than singing alone, right? Yes, I understand. Yeah, actually, I have never sung in a karaoke, right? So that's yes. You have to take courage to sing in front of people. Next one is: Have you ever climbed a mountain? 
¿Han subido alguna vez a algún cerro, alguna montaña? Have you ever climbed a mountain? Noé. Uh, Hector. Uh, yes. Uh, it, I have sung in karaoke. You have sung in a karaoke? Yes. Uh, Because you like to sing, right? Yes, I sung music de Vicente Fernández. Uh, woman. Como si dice mujeres divinas. Que cante, que cante. <laughs> no, listen, 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 uh, everybody wants you to sing here. Okay, it's, it's song in, in karaoke. It's music. Okay, so you like Vicente Fernandez, right? Yes. Okay, very Divina. good. Mujeres Divinas, very good. Probably one day we will listen Noé singing Mujeres Divinas. <laughs> In the last <laughs> class, right? In the last class. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, it's a promise. Now, uh, next question was, have you ever climbed a mountain? ¿Alguna vez han subido algún cerro, alguna montaña? That experience? Hector, Floor. No, I never climbed the mountain. You have never climbed a mountain? No. In, future, in my case, mm -hmm. I climbed the mountain in the city of Apopa. And Apopa? Yes, a, a mountain is the... ¿Cómo se llama? Cerro Sartén. Cerro? Sartén. Sartén. Uh -huh. And it was difficult to climb it or not? Yes. Yes. It's difficult. How many hours did you do like to climb it? How many hours does it take? Uh, three, three hours. Three hours. In the morning. In the morning. Yes. In the morning. In yes. The morning. Yes. I back, I back. I back in the uh, in the mean uh, in the Mhm. Mm Como digo, me odia, teacher. At noon, at noon. At noon, at noon. Uh -huh. So I, you start I, in the morning I, and you finish at noon. Uh, correct. So the whole day is like if you climb and you go down, it's the whole day there, right? Yes. And is it beautiful? The view is beautiful? It's beautiful because I do enjoy this, this moment in the very plants and um, feel uh, uh, wind in yes. your in your your, your face in your in face the, <laughs> yes the wind the clouds the sky everything you can see everything right yes yes it's a very good sensation actually some people don't like it but actually it's a good sport right it's a good sport now i think that we are going to wrap it up we are going to close it off today thank you for your participation and for the people who didn't participate like Flor, Aisa, Mercy, Lisette, Rosa, well, Lisette had some problems, Rosaura also. The homework is that you need to find someone um, with a experience, right, different experience. For example, find someone who has cried during a movie or find someone who has traveled to another country Find someone who has met someone famous. Find someone who has had an exotic pet. Uh, find someone who was born in another country or find someone who was born in 1940 or 30. And find someone who can play an instrument. That is the homework for tomorrow. And the people who didn't participate, try to participate next class with this homework, okay? So do you have any question, any doubt? Preguntas? Teacher, uh, we have to choose just one question. No, you can choose as many as you as you like, right? If you find someone who cried cry in the movie, try to investigate about that or travel to another country or different questions. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, okay, no problem. Any other question? No questions? No questions. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow and we're going to continue with the class, okay? Have a nice evening and okay. rest, please. Have a nice night.
Have a nice night. Have a nice night. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.